Hey guys, this is Sirkan and Coral. Today's video is our staggered shingle roof technique. The benefits of this technique are that the shingles are able to be placed at various vertical heights. The rows are offset so that the seam doesn't line up, which gives it a more random appearance. And the shingles are able to meet at the top, continuing the random appearance without a board or something else needing to be placed at the top. The first thing you want to do is make these U-shaped troughs. They're going to be four studs by however wide you want your roof to be. In this case, it's four by 14 studs, and the number of troughs determines how high the roof is going to be. In this case, it's three troughs high. Next, you wanna place jumper plates in this center trough. You only need to use enough to give this center line stability without wasting too many jumper plates. The center line needs to be one stud less than the length. So in this case, it's because we used 14, this is 13, a 10, and a 3. And you're going to place them so that they're offset by half a stud. Next, you place these in a stair step pattern. And you'll notice that the top one has bricks instead of plates. You only need to do this with the top trough. So what we've accomplished with this is that each row is stepping up a plate at a time. They are offset from row to row by half a stud and there's half a stud gap in between each row. So this is the fun part. We are going to purposefully place these tiles as haphazardly as possible to give it that random effect. The only thing to note is that the last studs on these black rows, the tile needs to be placed as far forward as possible, and we'll explain why in a minute. The other thing to note is that even if you place a tile here as far back as possible and as far forward as possible on the black rows, you still can't see the underlying structure. So you can really just place these as randomly as you want to get a haphazard look. So now that we've placed all of our tiles, the next step is to join this half of the roof to the other. In order to do that, we take standard gray hinges with a plate on top of them and connect them to either side of the roof and that is going to give you this effect. If you'll remember when we told you to place these tiles at the very edge, that was so that we can fill all of these gaps with tiles. That way, when you build the framing of this side of the roof, you're left with this very clean line of shingles. Next we need to address the top seam of the roof, joining the two halves together. It's very difficult to get the randomized effect while still getting an even seam at the top, this clean looking seam. In order to do that, we've created a Travis Brick column that we're going to slide into the top. So to do this, we take Travis bricks. You can start wherever that will give you stability and build this column. We're going to join the two segments of the column with these two plates. So place those there, put the next Travis brick to get this to be 14 studs long. Then we cover this on all sides. So that we get a nice snot column.
So it's going to look like this in the end. We then place tiles on two sides, creating the seam that will go on the top. That will look like this when you're done with it. And we're going to slide that into the top of the roof. That way, even with this randomized appearance, we're still able to get this clean seam at the top. Thanks for watching our video. Comment if you have any questions, and we'd love to hear suggestions if you have anything you'd like to see us explain or do. Subscribe for more technique videos, and we'll see you next week.